हेलो 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 ए ऑल एम ऑडिबल टू ऑल त्रिशा हेलो लेक प्रिया नाइस टू सी यू सो एम ऑडिबल टू ऑल से यस शाल वी स्टार्ट सो से यस ऑल ऑफ यू शाल वी स्टार्ट नाउ Okay, like Priya, then we are starting. So uh, today we are going to cover body fluids and circulation. So uh, in this module, I am covering the questions that are frequently asked and are very important for the examination. So let us begin. Okay, Trisha. Okay, Priya. So question number one: Which one of the following plasma proteins is involved in the coagulation of blood? Option A: Albumin. ऑप्शन बी सीरम अमाइलिस ऑप्शन सी अ ग्लोबलिन और ऑप्शन डी अ फाइब्रिनोजन सो वी नो दैट ब्लड कंटेन्स वेरियस प्रोशन लाइक ब्लड कंटेन्स प्लाज्मा प्लस सेल्स एंड दिस प्लाज्मा हैज प्रोटीन्स इट हैज प्रोटीन्स प्लस वॉटर सो Uh, what are the proteins that are present in this plasma? Yes, yes, Akshay, yes, Trisha, you are first to answer. So the proteins that are present are fibrinogen, then globulin, and then it is albumin. And all these three proteins have a particular function. And among them, the function of the fibrinogen is to help in the coagulation of blood to help in the coagulation of blood so the correct answer here would be option d as all of you have said it correctly option d now coming to question number 2 abo blood groups in human are controlled by the gene it has three alleles ia ib and i since there are three different alleles six different genotypes are possible so how many phenotypes can occur so see uh, in the question it is given that there are three alleles for the blood grouping and these three alleles are ia ib and i so what is genotype so we know that each and every human being can only have two gene okay because we are because we are diploid so at a time only two allele can be present isn't it so the what so if there are three alleles and at a time only two alleles can be present then by permutation and combination only six genotypes are possible and what are those six genotypes yes trisha trisha is first to answer yes akshay you are correct so see so what are those six genotypes so six genotypes first one is ia and ia second one is ia by ia and small i third one is ib and ib then fourth one is ib and i fifth one is i a and b and the sixth one is double i okay small i so these are the six genotypes possible 
So with these six genotypes, how many blood groups are possible? So tell me how of how many blood groups you have heard in your life. There are only four, and they are blood group A, blood group B, blood group AB, and blood group O. So if there is IA or IA plus I, only one blood group is possible, and that is A. So these are the four phenotypes, and these are the six genotypes. So the correct answer here would be. option option c okay it is an error the correct answer is option c that is 4 here jivita you are correct now coming to question number 3 person with blood group ab is considered as an universal recipient it means that everyone can donate blood to ab blood group people because he has so what is the reason for that option a both a and b antigens are present on the rbc but no antibodies are present on the plasma option b both a and b antibodies are present in the plasma option c no antigen on the rbc and no antibody in the plasma and option d both a and b antigens are present in the plasma but no antibodies so for this we need to know that what exactly do we mean by the blood group okay So see, so read the question carefully and then answer. Okay, Trisha, she has related it. So let us see. Now there are four blood group, isn't it? They are A, B, AB, and O. And what does this A and B means? This A, B, A, B, O, they are all the antigens. They are all the antigens. And where are these antigens present? They are present in the. They are. present uh they are present on the surface of the rbc okay they are present on the surface of the rbc these are the antigen now what happens is that there is one rule and that rule is if an antigen is present on the surface then the corresponding antibody then the corresponding antibody will be absent in the plasma so because if the a antigen is present on the surface then there will not be any anti a okay anti a will be absent okay and because of this if there is a b blood group it means that a and b both the antigens okay both the antigens are present on the surface of the rbc and because both the antigens are present on the surface of the rbc this are this is the a antigen this is the b antigen and that is why a and b i mean anti a and anti b antibodies are absent in the plasma and that is why you can give any of the rbc to this person because because no antibodies are present so there will not be any kind of reaction in this person okay so the correct answer is option a okay now moving on yes trisha yes the correct answer is option a not d now coming to question number 4 globulins contained in human blood plasma are primarily involved in so see i told you that plasma contains proteins isn't it and of that one protein that i told you was globulin so what is the function of this globulin is it option a to maintain the osmotic balance of the body fluids option b oxygen transport in the blood option c clotting of the blood or option d defense mechanisms of the body so see what happen is that there is a particular function allotted to each of the particular protein and the function that is given to globulin it is to participate in the defense mechanisms of our body to participate in the defense mechanisms of the body and it does by various immunoglobulins and that is why it is also known as immunoglobulins and how many types of immunoglobulins are present yes lake priya yes trisha yes everyone you all are correct so how many types of immunoglobulins are present they are of five types and they are g a m d and e okay it is igg iga igm igd and ige and this is the order in which they are present okay means igg is present in the maximum amount 
and uh, the least one is the IGE and it is also asked in some of the examination. So the correct answer over here is option D. They are participating in the defense mechanisms. Now coming to question number 5. Which type of white blood cells are concerned with the release of histamine and natural anticoagulant heparin? So I told you that there are there is plasma and the cells present in the blood. So there is certain kind of cell that release histamine and the heparin. So what is that cell? Is it option A neutrophil, option B basophils, option C eosinophil or option D monocyte. So what is the correct answer for this question? So see histamine and heparin is very important for our blood and why is it so? Yes Trisha, yes Lake Priya, yes Trisha is doing very well. So why is it so? It is because sometimes there is some inflammation in our body and in that inflammation histamine is uh, it is secreted out in the blood and it helps in that mean to keep away that inflammation. So and also to uh, make it less worse. So there is certain kind of cell that has to be present in the blood to release this. Okay. And what that blood cell is the basophil and that cell is the basophil and there is a similar cell that release the same thing and the function is same as the basophil. Can you tell me the name of that cell? Yes. The name of the cell is mast cell. Okay. And this is also asked in the examination. Now let us see the function of the other cell that is given in the option. Like the neutrophil, the neutrophil it participate in the phagocytosis. Phagocytosis means the neutrophil and the monocyte they eat the bacteria and the foreign particles. Eosinophil it participates in the allergic reaction. Okay, and it is mainly active against the parasites. It is mainly active against the parasite. And apart from that, if we talk about the monocyte, monocyte is also a macrophage. It is also a macrophage and that is why it also participate in the phagocytosis along with the neutrophil. So the correct answer for this question would be option B that is the basophil. Now moving on to the question number 6. The hemoglobin of a human fetus has, okay, what is the feature that the human uh, fetus hemoglobin has? Option A has a lower affinity for oxygen than that of the adult. Option B its affinity for oxygen is same as that of the adult. Option C it has only two protein subunits instead of four. And option D it has higher affinity for oxygen than that of the adult. So see the type of hemoglobin that is present in the fetus is known as fetal hemoglobin and it is represented by HBF. It is the fetal hemoglobin and the type of hemoglobin that is present in the adult it is represented as HBA and this is the adult hemoglobin and the number of subunit that is present and it is known as the adult hemoglobin and the number of the subunits that is present in HBF that is a fetal hemoglobin is also 4 and in the adult hemoglobin it is also 4. Yes Trisha again. So see. So both are having four subunits. So option C is incorrect. Now talking about the affinity. So from where does the fetus gets the oxygen? Fetus gets the oxygen from the mother. Isn't it? So if the fetus wants to get the oxygen, it should have something that binds oxygen greater than that of the mother. And that is why the hemoglobin that is HBF has higher affinity for the oxygen and because of this only it can take the oxygen from the mother and use it for its own body. So HBF has higher affinity. So tell me which kind of shift it will be. So it will be the left shift. Left shift, shift means the hemoglobin is not dissociating the oxygen quickly because there is strong bounding. So the correct answer here would be option D and there will be left shift present. Now coming to question number 7. You are required to draw blood from a patient and keep it in a test tube for analysis of blood corpuscle and plasma. 
you are also provided with the following four type of test tubes which of them will you not use for the purpose so the question says that you are in the laboratory and a patient has given you the blood and in the blood we know that the cells and the plasma is present so which type of test tube you will not use for storing this blood so let us see so you have to examine the corpuscle it means the rbcs red blood cell corpuscle and the plasma both you have to see okay and for that you do not want rbc you do not want rbc to clot so you should avoid the factors that will lead to clotting of the rbc and what is it whenever we know that calcium is the factor it is the factor why and this factor phi it helps in the clotting this factor leads to clotting process and that is why we will avoid the calcium carbonate because yes everyone exactly yes trisha so so see what is happening is that if you use the calcium it will activate the clotting mechanism in our body and because of that the rbcs because of that this rbc will be clumped together and that is why you will not be able to study this rbc so you have to avoid the calcium carbonate and the heparin and calcium oxalate see calcium oxalate uh, sorry sodium oxalate is used now a days because oxalate scavenges the calcium it binds with the calcium and it removes the calcium that is present in the blood and the heparin is a natural anticoagulant so it can also be used and chill test strip is also used so the correct answer over here would be option a as all of you have correctly pointed it out now coming to question number 8 which of the following organs is known as the blood bank okay so what is the correct answer hello abhimanyu so so tell me what is the answer for this question which of the following organs is the blood bank in our body to so see um i i will say there is one more option and that is option e that is the bone marrow now tell me what will be the correct answer so you know that the in our body blood is very precious and that is why what does a our body is like a bank it tries to store some amount of blood it tries to store some amount of, amount of blood in a certain organ and why does it do that it does it because whenever there is emergency or if you have if the body has lost some amount of blood then it can take blood from this organ or from this bank so what will be that bank so trisha is saying option a so yes abhimanyu okay all of you are saying bone marrow okay he is saying bone marrow actually the correct answer over here is option c that is spleen why is it so because in the spleen in the spleen there are sinusoid present okay there is sinusoids present it mean there is lot of spaces and in this and in this space blood is stored and whenever and whenever there is loss of blood what will happen is that it will constrict it will constrict it will constrict and all the blood that is stored in this spleen it will be pooled outside and that will maintain the blood amount in the body so the correct answer here would be option c that is a blood bank and apart from that the spleen is also known as the grave yard of rbc it is also important for the examination now coming to question number 9 the limb serves to so what is the function of the limb that is present in the body our body has two kind of fluids for the circulation purpose one type of fluid it is blood and the other type of fluid it is the lymph we know the function of the blood now tell me what is the function of the lymph is it option a to transport oxygen to the brain or option b transport carbon dioxide to the lungs or option c to return the interstitial fluid to the blood or option d return the wbcs and rbcs to the lymph node so what will be the correct answer here so see when our whole body gets the blood from the blood vessel isn't it so this is the blood vessels and blood vessel and this is 
these cells that is present in our body so from this vessel blood comes out and then it is used by the cell but all the blood that comes out from the vessel isn't used by the cell so always some amount of fluid is remaining in this space or in this area and this fluid that is present in this space is known as interstitial fluid and this fluid is not taken back by the blood also so there has to be some mechanism through which this interstitial fluid goes back to the blood vessel and this function is accomplished with the help of lymph so there is some different kind of vessels that is present in this space and this space is known as interstitial space so this is the vessel so in the from the interstitial space the interstitial fluid goes in this vessel and then finally this vessel empties into the blood vessel and that is why all the fluid is removed from the interstitial space so the correct answer here as the akshar correctly pointed out and all of you as well is correct option c and one important point is that this lymph is special lymph doesn't contain it doesn't contain rbc and that is why you can all say that it is not red in color the color would be whitish in nature okay or colorless whitish or colorless and lymph also contains wbcs and there are various lymph nodes through which the lymph passes and that is why one of the function of the lymph is that it also participate in the defense mechanism in our body now coming to question number 10 blood capillaries are made up of so this is the artery then artery forms the capillaries arteries form the capillaries and then from the capillary it again joins and this capillary join to form the vein okay it join okay actually the color should be opposite we always use red for the artery and blue for the vein this capillary join and it form the vein and suppose this is the artery and this is the capillaries so there is different in the anatomy in all the blood vessels in the artery vein and capillaries all of them are different so what is the thing that is special to the capillaries so this is the picture of the capillary as you can all see over here so you can see that what all things you can see in this capillary tell me is it option a that is the endothelium connective tissue and muscle fibers or option b that is endothelium and muscle fibers option c endothelium and connective tissue or is it option d that is only the endothelium so look at this diagram and then answer for this question that what is the thing that you can see in this diagram can you see the connective tissue and the muscle fibers anywhere in this area no okay yes jivita you are right so this blood capillaries only contain the endothelium and the muscles and the connective tissue are absent because you have to minimize the thickness of the capillaries because from the capillaries only the fluid leaks out for the cell and that is why it is it contains only one cell layer and that is also of the endothelium so the correct answer is option d now coming to question number 11 blood pressure in the pulmonary artery is so this is the auricle and this is the ventricle this is the atrial septum and this is the ventricular septum so from the left ventricle arises the aorta from the right ventricle arises the pulmonary artery in the right auricle superior and the inferior vena cava joins and in the left artery the pulmonary vein joins and let me tell you that the pressure in the ventricle the pressure in the ventricle is always greater than the and then the atria okay and the pressure in the left side is always greater than the right side 
So with this background, you can all answer it correctly. So what is the pressure in the pulmonary artery? Is it same as that in the aorta or is it more than in the carotid or is it more than the pulmonary vein or is it less than the vena cava? So and uh, let me tell you that the pressure in the artery is more or less more than the venous system. This is the general rule. So what is the correct answer over here? It is option C. The pressure in the pulmonary artery because the ventricle is pumping and that is why the pressure is more and this is the pulmonary vein. Pulmonary vein is coming from the lungs. So there is no one to pump the blood from the lungs. So it is coming from the general flow and that is why the pressure in the pulmonary vein is less when compared to the pulmonary artery. So the correct answer is option C as all of you have told correctly. Now coming to question number 12. Doctors use stethoscope to hear the heart sounds that is produced during each cardiac cycle. The second sound of the heart is heard when? Option A. Ventricular wall vibrate due to gushing in of blood from the atria. Option B. Semilunar wall close down after the blood flows into the vessel from the ventricles. Option C. AV node receives signal from the SA node and option D, AV walls open up. So for this you need to know that what is the reason that heart produces a sound. If you keep your ears on the chest of someone, you will clearly listen to kind of sound and that sounds are lub and dub. Lub and dub. And in this lub sound is the first heart sound and dub sound is the second heart sound. So this is the mitral wall and this is the tricuspid wall. So blood goes, comes in the atria and from the atria blood enters into the ventricle. It enters into the ventricle. So these blood, the blood coming from the atria is guarded by the cuspid wall, tricuspid and the bicuspid wall. So when the atria is, when the atria is completely filled, then it contracts and when it contracts the walls open and because of that the opening and the closing of this wall that is the bicuspid and tricuspid wall it leads to the first heart sound and that is the lap sound then the blood comes in the ventricle and then from the ventricle the blood goes into the pulmonary artery and into the aorta and when, once the blood goes into the pulmonary artery and the aorta this semilunar walls close and when this close you get the second heart sound and that is the dub sound. So the correct answer for this question is option B as everyone of you are seeing. And one more thing is that the lub sound is the sound that is of sharp character and it is the lub sound is having the high pitch and it is for longer duration. Okay, and the dub sound is having the lower pitch. Now coming to question number 13. How do parasympathetic neural signals affect the working of the heart? Option A. It reduces both the heart rate and the cardiac output. Option B. Heart rate is increased without affecting the cardiac output. Option C. Both the heart rate and cardiac output are increased. Or option D. Heart rate decreases but cardiac output increases. The heart is an autonomic organ, it can work on its own. So heart is autonomic. It doesn't need nerve as such to beat. Okay, because it has its own pacemaker and the name of that pacemaker is SA node. But apart from this, it is also in control of the autonomic system of the body. Autonomic system of the body. And the autonomic system has two limbs in the body and those limbs are sympathetic system and the parasympathetic system. So this sympathetic system, it is, so there are two centers in the medulla oblongata. The first center is accelerator center and the second center is the depressor center. The accelerator center, it activates the sympathetic nervous system and it increases the heartbeat and the cardiac output 
and the second system that is the depressor system it depresses the heart and it is functioning through the parasympathetic nervous system and it is it decreases the heartbeat speed of conduction and also the cardiac output so correct answer over here would be option a that is it reduces both the heart rate and the cardiac output now coming to question number 14 the diagram given here is the standard ecg that you will be getting in your medical college so what is this p wave representing option a initiation of the ventricular contraction option b beginning of the systole option c end of systole or option d contraction of both the atria so there are various notation for each of this wave and we need to understand it like the p wave starting with the p wave so first the blood is present in the atria then this both the atria they depolarize depolarize it means that both the atria contract and once they contract the blood enters into the ventricle so contraction of the atria it is by it is denoted by p wave then after the contraction of the atria blood comes into the ventricle and once the blood comes into the ventricle the ventricle also contract and this is denoted by qrs complex and after that the ventricle relaxes and the atria also relaxes but the relaxation of atria it comes overlaps with the qrs complex and that is why it is not appreciated and the ventricle relaxes late and that is why it is observed as t wave so it is the repolarization of the ventricle so the correct answer over here would be option d that it is the contraction of both the atria as all of you have said now coming to question number 15 which one of the following statement is correct regarding the blood pressure option a 130 by 90 mm of mercury is considered high and it requires treatment option b 100 by 55 mm mercury is considered an ideal blood pressure option c 105 by 50 mm mercury makes one very active and option d 190 by 110 mm mercury may harm vital organs like brain and the kidney so we know that the normal blood pressure in the humans it is 120 by 80 and each and every measurement that is present in the human body has a range so the normal range would be 100 by 140 upon 80 by 100 itself or 80 to 90 see and if it is less than 100 by 80 it will be known as hypo tension and if it is uh, greater than 140 upon 100 it will be known as hypertension hypertension means the blood pressure is very high and if the blood pressure is very high see blood is going to a organ and if it is going with very high speed it will damage the particular organ and that is why the option d that is 190 by 110 mm hg it is the hypertension isn't it and this hypertension will damage the vital organs like brain and the kidney so the correct answer is option d now moving on to question number 16 if if due to some injury the caudate tendine of the tricuspid valve of the human heart is partially non functional then what will be the immediate effect so this you can see here this thing present like the cords they are known as corda tendine and the function is that it keeps this cord intact and pulled with the ventricle okay it keeps the cord attached with the ventricle okay and it gives the support and when the blood comes from the atria into the ventricle then what will happen after the when the ventricle will try to contract when the ventricle will try to contact this cusp it will try to go up isn't it but this cord or tendine doesn't allow it to go up and that is why the ventricle is closed and if this cord or cord or tendine is ruptured then this 
cusps will go up isn't it and this area and this conduit this conduit will always be open and because of this when the ventricle will contract some of the blood will regurgitate back into the atrium isn't it back into the atrium so what will be the immediate effect over here it will be option b it is because when the ventricle is contracting some of the blood is going back into the atria and that is why the amount of blood that is to be pushed inside the pulmonary artery it will be reduced so yes as you all said it is option d now coming to question number 17 in humans blood passes from the post cable to the distal to the diastolic right atrium of the heart and it is due to so from the vena cava the blood is coming inside the right atrium and what is the reason for this transfer of blood from the vena cava to the atrium is it option a pressure difference between the post cavel and the atrium option b pushing open of the venous walls or option c suction pull or option d stimulation of the sino auricular node or sa node so every time there has to be some kind of pressure mechanism because of which the blood should be kept flowing so that the circulatory system is functioning properly so what will be the reason for this blood transfer from the vena cava inside the right auricle so lake priya is first to answer and she is saying that it is the suction pull so tell me lake priya what will be the reason for this suction pull so what is the thing there is what is the thing that is present in the body that is creating this suction is it something no so the it is not the suction pull it is the pressure difference because the body like the body like the muscles we are using the muscles and when we uh, are using the muscles the blood is pumping from the muscles okay into the blood vessel and it creates a pressure difference and that pumped blood goes into the heart because of the pressure difference and that is why the correct answer over here would be option a it is the pressure difference between the post cavel and the atria now coming to question number 18 which of the following substances if introduced into the blood stream would cause coagulation of the blood at the sites of its introduction is it option a prothrombin option b fibrinogen option c thromboplastin or option d heparin so what will be the answer for this question c this is the blood vessel present in our body so if you are playing with something what will happen sometimes you get a cut and when you get a cut it bleeds but after some time the bleeding stop why is it so whenever the tissue is injured a factor is released and the type and the factor that is released is known as thrombo plastin thrombo plastin is released and the main function of this thromboplastin is that it converts pro thrombin into the thrombin and this thrombin converts fibrinogen that is a plasma protein into fibrin and this fibrin is the clot the black colored clot that you have observed in the wound it is the clot and because of this clotting the blood doesn't come out after some time so which of the following substance is the first one that is introdu introduced after an injury yes as you all are saying it is option c that is the thromboplastin the thromboplastin is released that will lead to the clot formation and one more thing the thromboplastin fibrinogen and prothrombin they are the clotting factors fibrinogen is clotting factor 1 prothrombin is clotting factor 2 and thromboplastin is a clotting factor 3 now coming to question number 19 systemic heart refers to option a the heart that contracts under stimulation from the nervous system option b left auricle and left ventricle in the higher vertebrates option c entire heart in lower vertebrates or option d the two ventricles 
together in humans so there is two kind of circuit that is going in our body one is the systemic circuit and the other one is the pulmonary circuit this is the work of the systemic circuit is to supply the oxygenated blood from the heart to the body tissue because the final function of this blood is to supply the oxygen and the food to each and every cell of the body and it is meant or it is done by the systemic circuit and once the cells have used this food and oxygen then the deoxygenated blood is returned back into the heart and then it goes to the lungs for oxygenation again so this is the systemic circuit or the systemic heart that is the right auricle and the right ventricle and that is why the correct answer here would be option b as everyone have said yes trisha you haven't answered for this question now coming to question number 20 bundle of his is a network of option a muscle fibers distributed throughout the heart walls option b muscle fibers found only in the ventricle wall option c nerve fibers distributed in the ventricles or option d nerve fibers found throughout the heart so in the heart i told you that heart is an is a kind of autonomic organ and it is the autonomic organ because it doesn't need need nerve as such for beating it can function on its own because of the pacemaker that is the sa node so this pacemaker so in the heart the conduction starts from the sa node the conduction starts from the sa node and then it goes to the av node it is the sa node and then the nerve signal goes to the av node and then from the av node into the bundle of his from the bundle of his it goes into the purkinje fibers the purkinje fibers and then the signal goes throughout the ventricle and all this thing all this thing that i have told you that is the sa node av node bundle of his yes lake priya is first to answer she is doing very good so see as uh, in the heart everything is controlled by the muscle and that is why some of the cardiac muscle they behave specially and instead of contracting it generates the impulse that is the function of the nerve so all this thing that is the sa node av node bundle of his and the purkinje fibers and the purkinje fibers all of them are the modified cardiac muscles so the correct answer is option b now coming to question number 21 dub sound is produced during the closure of option a semilunar valves option b bicuspid valve option c tricuspid valve or option d both b and c so i told you earlier also this is the heart the above one is the atria this is the ventricle so the tricuspid valve and the bicuspid valve it is present over here and the closing of this tricuspid and the bicuspid valve produce which sound the sound is the lub sound and then the pulmonary artery and the aorta arises and they have the semilunar valves they have the semilunar valves and the closure of the semilunar valves yes like you are correct the closure of the semilunar valves leads to the second heart sound and that is the dub sound so the correct answer here would be option a now coming to question number 22 closed circulatory system occurs in option a cockroach option b tadpole or fish option c mosquito and option d house fly so in all this organism in which one the closed circulation is occurring if you want the hint i can tell you that in the insects there is open circulatory system and what do you mean by open circulatory system suppose this is a cockroach okay it is the body of a cockroach so in them the tubes are present in them the tubes are present 
and in this tubes only a fluid is present and that is known as the hemolymph that is the hemolymph and these tubes are not connected to each other okay it, it means that the, it is like a sinusoids or the open spaces just the hemolymph is present okay and the and in them the oxygen doesn't need to be supplied by this spaces because it is supplied by the different tubes and hence we have to eliminate out all the option that is containing the insects so cockroach is out mosquito is out and the house fly is out so the correct answer is option b that is tadpole or the fish and the fish i have to tell you that it is two chambered heart it is the two chambered heart that is one is the one atria and one ventricle so option a is correct now coming to question number 23 a vein possesses a large lumen because option a tunica media and tunica externa form a single coat option b tunica interna and tunica media form a single coat option c tunica interna tunica media and tunica externa are thinner and option d tunica media is a thin coat so there are so shall we continue then all right we we'll start with question number 24 starting with sorry champions actually some technical issues going on in here okay i think uh okay am i audible now please reply everyone so let us start now coming to question number 24 now coming to question number 24 child death may occur in the marriage between option a rh positive man and rh positive woman option b rh positive man and rh negative woman option c rh negative man and rh negative woman and option c option d rh negative man and rh positive woman so the there are two kind of blood groups one is the a b o blood group system a b o system and the other one and the other one okay okay uh, okay vamsi can we do the 23 at the last after completing the 30 question will it be will it be fine then okay nice to see you all still waiting okay thank you for waiting so there are two kind of system one is the yes vamsi we will definitely cover it after the 30th question all right so one is the abo system and the other one is the rh system it is the rh system okay let us see okay vamsi we will cover the 23rd question at the end once i will cover the 30th question i will go for 23rd so abc 30th question i will go for 23rd so abc abo system and the rh system so what happens is that we can either be h negative or rh cell and this will lead to the death of the child and that is known as erythroblastosis fetalis erythroblastosis fetalis and that is why before marriage in foreign countries also they are going for the blood checkup or the blood grouping before the marriage so that it can be avoided so the correct answer is option b that is rh positive men and the it is wrong it is rh positive men and rh negative women 
Now coming to question number 25. The most active phagocytic white blood cells are so there are various kind of white blood cells that we have discussed earlier also and all of them have a particular function so of them which one is the most active or most actively phagocytize the antigen see the neutrophils and the monocytes neutrophil is present around 65 percent in the blood and the monocytes 6 to 8 percent and they are the phagocytic cells and they destroy the foreign organism that enters the body. The basophils we have discussed secrete histamine, heparin and the serotonin and it is important for the inflammatory reaction of the body. Isonophil participate in the allergic reaction and the lymphocyte it is also re responsible for the immune response because it in it secretes the antibodies. Okay, antibodies and antibodies particularly are secreted by the plasma cell and plasma cell is produced from the B cell okay it is also an important question so the phagocytic cells in the body are neutrophils and the monocyte as the Trisha has correctly pointed out yes Jivita yes Akshaya it's option D now coming to question number 26 which one of the following is the reason for the fast conduction of impulse in the heart muscles option A presence of intercalated disc or option B SA node, option C AV node or option D Purkinje fibers. So I told you that the heart muscles they are modified. Some of the heart muscles are modified and they form the conducting system and this conductive system contains SA node, AV node, bundle of his and the Purkinje fibers isn't it? And this, because of this, it acts as a nerve. And all the muscle or the all the heart muscles, they are arranged in a branching fashion. And this is special because no other muscle in the body is branched. And in between two muscle, two muscle cardiac cell, a area is present. And this area is known as intercalated disc. And the type of channel that is present in the intercalated disc it is the gap junction okay gap junctions are present in between the cardiac cell and because of this because of this gap junctions see these are two cells okay and in between them gaps are present and that gap is known as the gap junction and because of these gaps the electric signal can easily travel throughout the muscle fiber isn't it and because of this only the whole of the conduction or whole of the electricity travels in whole of the cardiac fibers all at once and hence what will be the answer for this question it is option a that is the presence of the intercalated disc and that containing the gap junctions okay and it containing the gap junctions it is option a now coming to question number 27 consider the following statements about biomedical technologies okay and these are the four statement and you have to tell me that which one among them is correct option a during open heart surgery blood is circulated in the heart lung machine option b Blockage in the coronary arteries is removed by the angiography. Option C, CT or that is computerized axial tomography shows detailed internal structure as seen in the section of the body. Option D, X-ray provides clear and detailed images of organs like the prostate gland and the lungs. And option D. and this is the four straight resin. And you have to tell me that which of the four is correct. Which of the four is correct? Is it option A and B or option B and D or C and D or A and C? So what is the open heart surgery? You all have heard about the bypass surgery or the open heart surgery in that what we do that this is the heart and this heart has many blood vessels. So in the surgery when you are operating on the heart we, what we doctors do is that we clamp this artery. We clamp it and because we are clamping it 
the horse machine and then from this machine the blood again goes back to the vessels coming from the ventricle so option a is correct then blockage in the coronary arteries is removed by the angiography so it is incorrect because angiography is like taking a picture of the blood vessel so just by taking the picture of a blood vessel you cannot remove the blockage the blockage is removed by the angioplasty it was also asked in the examination and the ct scan shows detailed internal structure in a section of the body the ct scan is like a x ray machine so what is the difference between ct and an x ray the x ray is taken one picture at a time okay you stand in front of the film and one image is taken but the ct scan takes multiple image okay one image second image third image okay and in this way a whole body scan is done and hence option c is correct now coming to option d x ray provides clear and detailed image of the organs like the prostate and the lungs so yes it is used for the lungs but it is not used for the prostate for the prostate we use usg and that is why the correct answer here would be option a and c option a and c and that is the total option d now coming to question number 28 so yes all of you are correct question number 28 so now we are coming to the assertion and reason type of questions so assertion for the question number 28 is portal system consist of veins which start from the capillaries and end into the capillaries and the reason is that all the vertebrates have the hepatic portal system option a both assertion and reason are true and reason is the correct explanation of the assertion option b both assertion and reason are true but the reason is not the correct explanation of the assertion option c assertion is true but the reason is false and option d if both the assertion and reason are false so what is what exactly is the portal system so i told you that this is so we draw v always with a blue color in college also you have to draw v with blue color so this is vein then vein forms the capillary and then the capillaries normally the capillaries they join together and then they form the artery but what happens in the portal system is that this capillaries they join and they join and they do not form the artery instead they form a vessel and that vessel again forms a capillary that vessel again forms a capillary and this kind of system in which there are two capillary network this is also capillary and this is also capillary it is known as the portal system so yes assertion is correct that it starts from the capillaries and it ends from the capillary now coming to the vertebrates all vertebrates have the hepatic portal system so yes all the vertebrates have the hepatic portal system because all the vertebrates have the liver isn't it and the food is taken from the gut okay from the gut or the or the intestine food is taken and then it is sent into the liver because the there are some toxins present inside the food so it cannot be sent directly into the system so it is sent into the liver then the liver detoxify and then it sends into the blood and hence the reason is also true but is it the reason and because uh, so is it the correct explanation of the assertion or not no it is not the correct explanation both of them are the two independent things and that is why what will be the answer so trisha the correct answer over here would be option b both are true but the reason is not the correct explanation all right now coming to question number 29 prothrombinase enzyme act as anti heparin reason heparin prevent and coagulation of blood in the blood vessels so let us see so all the option are exactly the same that we have followed for the previous question now so i need to tell you about the prothrombinase enzyme and the 
heparin hexine okay so prothrombinase is necessary for the blood clotting and it acts as the anti heparin and the heparin it prevents and in the blood vessels the blood is continuously continuously flowing isn't it so we do not want the blood to clot inside the system because if it has clot inside the system then the blood will not flow at all and that is why there has to be something present inside the system that will prevent this clotting and what is that that is the heparin heparin is a natural anticoagulant present inside the blood vessel okay and there is some other system also present in case if the clotting is required like if there is cut in the system then you need to have form a clot isn't it and that system is activated by the prothrombinase enzyme and this prothrombinase enzyme it is the reverse of anti that it acts as a anti heparin it is reverse of the heparin so tell me option a is correct or not assertion is correct or not yes assertion is correct and what about the reason heparin prevent coagulation of blood or not yes it prevents it but both of them are acting independently okay the mechanism of one is independent of the another and that is why the correct answer here would be option b that is both are true but it is not the correct explanation now coming to question number 30 assertion isovolumetric systole of a normal cardiac cycle is responsible for the opening of the semi lunar valves causing the blood flow in the aortic in the aorta and the pulmonary aorta during isovolumetric systole intraventricular pressure increases as semi lunar and av valves are closed and the ventricles are contracting and here also the options are same so for this you need to know about the phases of the heart contraction so what happens in the heart contraction so what is what exactly is the isovolumetric systole iso volume iso means equal and volume if volumetric means the volume so this is the atria and this is the ventricle in the isovolumetric contraction the size of the ventricle doesn't change only the pressure inside it increases and because the pressure inside is is increasing what happen the see here the cord or tendon is guiding uh, it is holding the tricuspid and the bicuspid wall so this is tricuspid and bicuspid wall and it is holded by the cord or tendon and that is why it cannot go up and that is why if the pressure is increasing the blood will be ejected out from the aorta from the aorta and the pulmonary artery and the pulmonary artery so the assertion is correct and the re reason is also correct because the intra ventricular pressure is increasing and that is why the semi lunar valves have to be closed have to be opened so the blood goes there so the correct answer here would be option a as all of you have correctly said now we have to cover the question number 23 also isn't it meanwhile if you have any doubt or if you want to ask any concept if you want me to explain it please type it in the comment number 23 so i told you about the three layers that is present inside the vein and the artery so the three layers it is the tunica media tunica externa and a tunica media tunica externa and the tunica interna so what happen is that all the three layers that are present in the vein when compared to the artery is very thin and that is why because the this layers are thin and because of this the lumen increases and because of this the lumen size increases and if i tell you about uh, all the three layers then the thinnest layer then the thinnest layer of the all three in the vein will be the tunica media will be the tunica media so if you see the option properly the two answer can be there that is the option c that is tunica interna tunica media and tunica externa are thin and option d 
that is a tunica media is a thin coat so the correct option that was given in the module is option c if the answer is different in different modules but once i will check that what the need has given answer for this question and then i will come back to you okay but uh, for that till now you can remember is that the c is also correct and the d is also correct okay a tunica media is the thinnest coat but the internal and external they are also correct and i will recheck and i will give the answer in the comment section of this video all right any other doubt anyone that they want to ask vamsi is it clear am i clear with the explanation part so guys it was really a fun exercise teaching you all so i think we are done for today so okay vamsi see it was all my pressure pressure uh, so okay then signing out for today bye thank you all welcome trisha